hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm really excited to be filming this because i have done a first impression for you guys trying out made by mitchell so if you have not heard of made by mitchell have you been living under a brick it is um mama mitchell's brand it's not very I suppose it is still a new brand he probably released it about three months ago or so um and i picked up one of his blushes three months ago but that's all i picked up and i've been looking at all of the collection and just really wanted to pick more stuff up but i just never did and then i thought you know what i'm gonna treat myself so i picked up a another blush this is mango daiquiri i picked up a brush and i picked up the head in the clouds palette so we have two products and one brush to try out um i thought i would create a um very purpley kind of toned um makeup look for you today um and test out these products i'm not going to give anything away because i want you to watch the whole video but everything is bomb and i love this <laughs> if you want to see how i created this look then continue watching i will now see you popping the blush on my face and then we will get onto the eyes and yeah you can just see how this palette is just unlike no other right guys so i've just popped on some of my cream products so the foundation concealer and my cream contour and i am now gonna pop on my new little made by mitchell blush so i do already own one of these this is the one that I own already. This is in Peach Sugar. And this is a firm favourite and I use it all the time. I love it. Um, but I wanted to pick up Mango Daiquiri because I've seen him use it so many times and it just looks beautiful. And then I also picked up the little brush which he um, created for applying the blushes. Which I use like a really, really... Don't mind my nails. I need to redo them. Just don't mind my nails, please. Um this brush is super dense as you can see and it's supposed to be great for like stippling the product on so let's try mango daiquiri on the cheeks so i'm literally just going to take two little dots on my cheek like that as you can see i like to put my blush really high on my temple on my temples uh, it's not my temples really high on my cheekbones so i'm just going to take the brush start to to pull that in that is like the first layer of it i do like to just i do this all the time anyways just then go over it with my sponge that i've had my foundation on with and just kind of blend it out even more you see that let's do the other side and then i can always add more if i want to all right so that is mango daiquiri on my cheeks it looks a bit strange with like not all of the rest of the products on my skin and with no eyeshadow on it looks like quite bizarre but it's going to because it's obviously like a bright orange blush but this brush i'm obsessed with it's gonna it just made that if you can hear my mum doing the washing up she always picks to do the washing up when i'm trying to film brilliant isn't it um i love it really pretty color but i am going to just add a little bit of peach sugar over top because i um want to go for like a pink kind of look today so adding a little bit of this over top just to kind of add a little bit more rosiness into the cheeks that looks better So that is with mango daiquiri and peach sugar on. This is just mango daiquiri. Right, so those are the two blushes combined. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go off camera, finish doing my base makeup, and then we can have a play with the Head on the Clouds palette. Right, so I think the blush like fits in and looks a lot more like natural and better now that the rest of my base is done um it's kind of just a trust the process kind of moment because they are quite pigmented but once you get all of your powders on and everything like that um 
pretty much like set. I've not put any more blush or anything on my cheeks. I've just put a highlighter on. If you're wondering what highlighter this is, it's the Beauty Bay Flash. Look how gorgeous it is. It's so pretty and they're really cheap. Um, but let's not talk about anything else. Let's just talk about the eyes and move on to the star of the show which is the May by Mitchell um, Head in the Clouds palette. So that's for like the detail. It obviously comes in like a cardboard slip, but it also comes in its own like travel case, I suppose. Um, this is ideal because if you want to take it away with you, um, you can pop it in here. I can see how much detail has been put in. Um, and that's why I like come and hard and hum and hard if I wanted to get the palette or not. Um, because I really don't need any more eyeshadows, but it was just too beautiful for me not to pass up and just eventually buy it. So this is what the palette looks like inside. So even though you would probably think this is a really like a not wearable day to day palette, you've actually still got quite a few neutral tones in there, which you could do in a like a day to day look from um maybe like i think this is such a spring palette i think it's perfect if you want to do like a neutral eye with like a pop of color or something adding in maybe like this orange or yellow or something all over the lid just for like a nice kind of like summery look i think it's perfect it's a great palette for if you want to do super detailed looks but it's also a great palette for a day-to-day -day someone who maybe likes to play around with color a little bit so the colours that I'm kind of drawn to the most um, is like these ones here. Um, I love the look of these purples. This sparkly purple is really cool in my name. I do love purples. And I am thinking of doing a purple look. I think I want to try the purples today. Um, I'd also like to put maybe this colour in, which is like a periwinkly. It's like a, it's almost purple, but it's probably more blue, but it looks a bit purpley to me. So maybe add that into it. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I think I've got a kind of a design that I want to go for. Um, but I'm really excited to try these out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes with a P. Louise base. I do this before I do any type of in-depth like eyeshadow look. Um, if you want to give your eyeshadows the best kind of head start, I suppose. Oh my god, now my dad's got his motorbike going. This is not great for... Um, sounds is it today um but using the p louise base just gives you like a nice blank canvas to then build your shadows up over top um and get the best pigment that your shadows can get so i'm just going to pack this on the eye so what we're going to go in with first is i'm going to go in with this bright purple down here why not start with like a bright purple test out if these are um i've got any fallout <laughs> um this is the shade perps and caicos and it's this beautiful deep purple it's showing up a little bit darker than what it actually is on camera um but it is a true bright purple so i'm just going to take this on a little pencil brush this is a morphe m506 brush um just tap that off there is a little bit of kickback in the pan but i don't mind that as long as it doesn't always like fall down on the face if there's a little bit of kickback in the pan it really doesn't bother me that much so i'm going to take this in my crease that is very pigmented come through pigment right off the bat look at how pigmented that shade is and i've not got any fall down now i'm going to do a winged look so i'm going to start to come away from the crease and drag it out Right, so I've now got my initial shape that I want for the eye um, built up and I'm now going to start to kind of buff that out. So I'm going to take the shade Lucid, which is this lovely pinky purple shade. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M433 brush. Again, as you can see, there is a little bit of kickback with this shade, um, but just tap off the excess and then we won't have no problem with any fall down. Can I just say these colours are blending so beautifully together. I'm literally not having to put any work in and it's just doing it all for me. I think I am going to just take a little bit of that Skywalker shade, which is this one. 
over here which is like a purpley blue I'm going to blend that in there as well just to give it a little bit more of like a I don't really know a bluey kind of hint to it I'm going for all of them pastel -y shades and then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the Perps and Kekos shade which is the first shade that I went into with that deep purple and then go back in again and add a little bit more of that just to bring back some of the depth that we've lost as we've blent it blent it that's not a word blended it then I'm going to take the tiniest little bit of midnight which is this shade over here which is like a very very dark purpley blue shade and I'm going to take that right in that outer corner as you can see I'm dragging it out quite far um, because I don't want a harsh line I want it to come right back into the temple I've just kind of connected those shades underneath um, using exactly the same colours that I used on the top now I'm just going to quickly get to this stage on the other eye and then we will do some more right, so I've just got to the same on both eyes I have nothing bad to say about these shadows so far um and hopefully i won't have anything bad to say about them because they've blended so beautifully together and i'm just i'm in love with the way that this eye look is looking so what we're gonna do now is um cut the crease um i'm gonna use some petroleum jelly i'm not gonna do this like really in depth on here because obviously i just want to focus on these shadows but cut my crease um so we can do something on the lid Right, okay, so the cut crease is now done. Um, I literally just used Vaseline, as you saw, carved at the crease. I found that the easiest way to get the shadow off and the base off from underneath. And then just went back in and created my base with the Louise. Base in room two. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna create almost like a wing type thing and bring in some color in the inner corner and buff it out like an out. Like an old, what's the word? Like a buffed out wing. I don't know what I'm saying, but I know what I mean. <laughs> Shade Midnight, which is this one over here, which we did use a little bit earlier just to create a um, bit more depth. And I'm just taking a Morphe M410 brush. It's just like a flat brush, tapped off some excess. And I'm just gonna start to bring that in just to create like a wing type shape don't worry about this being neat it doesn't need to be then just taking my brush um that we used to begin with the morphe 506 brush and just blending that out a little bit just so there's not any like really dramatic harsh lines i just want it to be like a smoky wing now what, what we need to do is we need to pop something in that middle section just because the P. Louise base as it is does need to be set or it will crease. Um, the paints won't but the bases do because they are a base so they need to have something over top of them if you want them to stay in place um, and not move. Now what I'm stuck between doing is do I just go for a nice shimmery white which we have one down here which is called clouded or do we go for a yellow up here which is better days what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with the shade clouded which is this one here and i'm just going to take a flat brush um and just pick some of that product up this is the first shimmer we're using so let's see how this works okay fair enough Mitchell has not come to play around, boys and girls. Ooh, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm glad I went for that shade. Now, something I think I'm going to add to it is I'm going to take the shade Eclipse, which is this shimmery, like, dark navy blue. Um, and I'm going to take that and add that to 
the liner that we've done that is a little bit of fallout with that shade but it's a dark shimmer so what do you expect um but i'm literally just flicking it straight away and it's lifting up straight away i'm just going in now with the pink shimmer which is the shade pink eye this one down here and i'm basically just kind of adding that in the front just to kind of add a little bit of depth and dimension to the look just kind of adding and playing with um all the shimmers really just to give it a little bit more of like a 3d effect so it's not just one shimmer i like to do this just to kind of add a little bit of something to the look and as you can see i've not brought that really dark shade right in the inner corner of my eyes just because my eyes are slightly hooded well quite hooded if you can already tell so i find if i do really thick liner or like bold shadow liner and stuff right into the inner corner um it takes away from a lot of the, the work that you put in on the lid and stuff because you aren't going to see it the line is just going to cover it up so i prefer to go in with like a maybe like a lighter shimmer as you can see what i'm doing now and just pattern over that and just fading it in so this is what the eyeshadow looks like you can see that blend is just it's just insane like the blend it's it's blended so well and so quickly it literally didn't take me long to blend at all so what i'm now going to do is i'm going to put some highlighter um below the brow and in the inner corner so i'm going to take the shade clouded um just right underneath the brow and i don't like to put too much on just a teeny weeny bit and then what i am going to do is just to add a little bit of a pop in the inner corner i'm going to take the shade better days which is this yellow shade and i'm going to take that in the inner corner Ooh, good decision huh Right, so I think the eyes are pretty much there as the shadows are concerned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to do the finishing touches. So let's pop on some lashes and I'll pop on a lip and then I will be back to give you my final thoughts. So everyone, I have just gone and popped on a lash and a lip and this is the finished look. If you're curious about what lashes I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Tatty Lash 3D Foaming Lashes in the style Wifey material. I think they're a really beautiful, more like natural, natural lash. Um, I do wear a lot bigger lashes than this, but I wanted you to still be able to see the makeup underneath. And then this lip combination is like my go-to at the moment for a nude lip. And it is MAC Spice Lip Liner um doll beauty fomo lipstick and then mac lip glass in the shade fashion punch i'm putting these super cute earrings which i got from um shein let me take them out and they're like little purple like clouds which i thought was quite fitting because it's like head in the clouds you know look at me so yeah this is final look so to finish this video let's do a little debrief of what i thought of the products um and all of that kind of shebang so blushes i've obviously already tried um peach sugar i've owned it for a few months now loved it um mango jackery um obsessed i do obviously have the two paired but i feel like this is a really nice undertone blush for anything that you're doing like a nice nice bright color peach sugar is more of my everyday color but mango daiquiri is a lovely one to have and i found no difference in the formula between the two colors and finding it to blend or anything um they're so easy to blend and they're just so highly pigmented i'm obsessed this little brush has made applying the blushes 10 times easier not that they weren't they were hard to apply for before but um i love the density of this brush 
um, it was perfect for kind of like stippling the product onto your cheeks which is the best way I found to apply them um, from trying different methods through the months um, and this is definitely going to be a go-to for not only these products but cream, blur um, cream blushes um, any type. I'm really happy I picked this brush up. I am an odd um, about buying it but I'm really glad I picked it up. Then we have the Head in the Clouds palette. I would 1000% recommend this. Like, I feel like the shadows can just kind of do the talking themselves, you know? Like, look at them. These shadows blended so seamlessly. Um, I obviously tried out the, well, I didn't try out the majority of the shades, but pretty much every single purple in this palette is on my eye today. Um, the mattes I found really easy to blend, really pigmented. There was a little bit of kickback in the pan, but nothing um, to be concerned about. There was no fall down on my eyes when applying the um, shadows with like a fluffy brush but when I was obviously applying them with a liner because I was picking up more pigment there was a little bit of fall down with the darker shades but um, I could literally just one swipe and they were gone there was not like a ridiculous amount of fall down I wouldn't feel like I needed to put powder on underneath or do my eyes first when using this palette um, I had no issues with the fall down same with the shimmers some shimmers can really fall down um, but again, it didn't have that problem. There was a little bit, but nothing you can't just brush away. Um, the shimmers are so pigmented and the shimmers are so buttery and the fact that you can just blend them together perfectly. Um, I had no issue ben blend blending. I had no issue blending the shimmers together. Sometimes shimmers can be a little bit hard and a bit, if they're a bit chunky, it can be quite hard to kind of blend through. But these, they just look so smooth. If you want to see maybe like a... Um, different look using this palette let me know in the comments and I can do maybe another first impressions but obviously with the different shades that I didn't use um, I love the packaging love the detail it now makes me really want feet in the ground which is the other palette um, and they obviously have the mini palette but I do really want to get the other one now Mitchell's just taking my money over here but this palette I would honestly I can't fault it I'd give it a good 10 out of 10 <laughs> I, and that's hard for me because I'm such an eyeshadow connoisseur I own so many palettes um if I don't like it I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't that I do like it um this is gonna be a new go-to for me I feel like and I just love the attention to detail that Mitchell has done everything's so on brand for him and yeah overall I'm just absolutely there's nothing bad to say about it nothing so um I really hope you enjoyed watching this video I really hope you enjoyed seeing the look that I created hopefully this was helpful for you if you wanted to pick up the collection if you were still humming and hawing if you want to pick up the collection this is your sign go and buy the collection because it's amazing um if you enjoyed watching me ramble on for a probably about 20 minutes um and you want to see more of me there's a lot more content on my channel go over have a look and if you aren't already subscribed that would mean the world if you could go over um i am really going to start to push my content a little bit more i've had quite a lot of stuff going on recently um but i do really want to get back into it because i absolutely love filming and doing content for you guys so let me know in the comments down below what else you want to see if you've got any questions comments concerns whatever sound off in the comments and I will reply I love having a chat with you guys and yeah I think that's pretty much all I've got to say I will see you very very soon and yeah bye